Hello, hello. If you've tuned in today, you get to see a first look at this incredible machine that's just arrived to the US. Ken, it's a single spindle. You have a double, but this one is ready to be looked at. This is a job shop powerhouse that could really get in there and get some work done. I see this gantry flying around like a crazy piece. I know this part over here can be removed and then add it to another system, but I wanna get into all the details of that and learn from you, right? I wanna get into what makes this machine different and what makes people thrive when they purchase a machine from Miratech like this single spindle. Let's start with the gantry system. Let's start with automation because I know automation is in your DNA. Automation is what we do and we've been doing automation for almost 90 years now, 50 in the US this week. So uh, the gantry system on this machine is actually a carbon fiber gantry. And what's interesting with carbon fiber, it's laid in such a way so when the stress force is going in one direction, it cannot flex. So as we're really picking up speed in this axis left to right, that is why it's not moving because that carbon fiber is laid in such a way to support that speed left and right. Clever. So not only is it something that's automating simply because we're moving it through the cell, now we're picking up valuable shop time because it is fast. That is clever. I want to talk now to the job shop people out there because between you and me having discussions, Muratech is, I mean, world famous. You guys have been around a long time. But I would make the discussion that you've dominated the production world and automotive for a long time as well. So I don't all the time think job shop. But this is a job shop machine that people can really use. And when I think of job shops and I think of single spindle, I think, well, how many times do I have to load and unload op 10, op 20? You have a solution for that in this system, don't you? We do, and we're very proud to introduce this at IMTS this year. So the MSR is a 6,000 RPM spindle, 8,000 RPM live tool. So. A lot of speed here we can cut parts with, but it also has a stroke of plus or minus 60 millimeters in the Y. So we're able to multitask with this machine, but what's also unique, we've included a turnover device. So as we unload the front side, we can come over, turn the part around, and actually put it back in and finish OP20. So yes, historically, we've done OP10, OP20, the production powerhouse you mentioned, we're known in the automotive world for this. But this is a stepping stone for job shops now to step in and try to compete without having to have the investment of a total twin or in some cases a three spindle machine to keep up. And it's also something that's very friendly to set up. So very job shop focused with this design. You mentioned it a little bit already, but I want to dive into the turret itself, if that's okay with you. And okay. then I'm going to get back over to this system and what happens in a perfect world, which none of us live in. But we'll wait just a second for that. And let's just talk about the turret, having the ability to move in different areas to add to that flexibility. So in this case, the spindle is moving in X and Z. The, the turret is stationary, but only lifting straight up and straight down in Y, which is very unique, but it gives us a really nice advantage. The live tool drive for this turret is a direct drive motor, so we're actually coming through the turret into the tool. So if the turret was moving, we couldn't do that. Therefore, we've allowed the turret to be stationary and the spindles to move, but now we have no loss of power. We're at 99.5% transmitted power for the live tool. So we have a lot of milling capability here without having to transmit through a clutch or a series of belts to get to that live tool like you commonly see in other machine tools. And traditionally we lose a lot of power in that relay, sure. don't we? Sure, yeah. typically it's somewhere around 30%. Wow. Now you, you can tweak it and people can be proud to gain five, but the reality is to get to this, you must be direct drive. All right, Ken, I wanna talk about something I find fascinating because we do work in a world of OP10, OP20, OP30, OP40, sure. these types of things. And in our twin spindle machines, in our multitasking machines, if we have a part that OP10 and OP20 are both 30 seconds a piece, we have a perfect world. That's almost never the case. We have Seldom one that's a happens. minute and a half and one that's 10 seconds, right? Correct. So let's talk about how and I'm gonna use a bad term, but I really like Legos. So let's talk about how a Lego system kind of works here, where you can actually remove this back end, add it to another cell, and make all of those operations work together. You, you, you just nailed it. You know, in a perfect world, we want the spindles to be of equal time. And honestly, there are some great application engineers around that can get this close, but sometimes there is just a mass imbalance. What a single spindle allows me to do is to drop the guarding on one side and then bring in beside a twin spindle. So I can use my two spindles and let's say OP10, 
which is the longer cycle time to divide that out, feeding one OP20, which now allows my throughput to go up and I haven't had to buy two machines. So the capital investment to do so is much better and it's a fantastic solution and honestly, we've been doing this for 30 years. 30 years of wisdom because I can say personally, I've been into a lot of shops where a part is just sitting, waiting for Operation 2 to get started because Operation 1's taking too long and Operation 2 has already finished. It's just waiting to pick up again, right? And it's just... We, we don't like that. So often. All right, something I'm noticing, Ken, when I see Fanuc, I usually see the color yellow. I don't see yellow here. What's going on? So what really this means is when you walk up to a machine controller and it's got a different colored band, it means the builder and Fanuc has done something unique with the controller. In this case, we've embedded our gantry software into the controller, so there is no PLC, there's no extra computer needed, there's not an offline software system needed. The gantry is 100% controlled through the Fanuc software and the Murata uh, software here in the machine. So the machine can't be confused, it cannot alarm and not understand where it is. It is all embedded directly in this Fanuc 30 series control. And we've been doing that for almost 20 years. I do appreciate you. Thank, Thank you, you well, for Tony. being here. Appreciate Thank you. Thank you all for watching. We absolutely appreciate you as well.